paint friendlies i'm carolyn and this is sadie and welcome back to our rv life yes i have a new co-pilot i have a new puppy and her name is sadie so she's a girl dog my first girl dog as an adult hi sadie and she's a rescue yes she is she's a rescue and she's been with me um about two months since i have been pretty much since a week after i got back from <laughs> new zealand and um Hi, she's all excited because I have treats in my hand. Okay, but we want to make sure everybody can see you. I swear to God, every time she'll be laying there, she'll be doing something super cute and I'll grab the camera and she just, she knows I have the camera and she just won't look at it. So uh, a few minutes ago, she tried to steal the microphone. <gasps> I'm teasing you, I know. Okay, all right, here, you can have that. So anyway, this is Sadie. She's six months old. I've had her for about two months now since I got back from New Zealand and she's a rescue. You ready to go home? Ready to go home? And um, when I got her, they they labeled her as, come on, can you say hi? Everybody wants to see you. I'm gonna, yes, I'm gonna force you to do, I know, I shouldn't force you. <gasps> there we go, see her? Well, everybody wants to see your beautiful face, Sadie girl. <gasps> Look, see, everybody wants to see your beautiful, yes, there you go. Um, they said she was lab and cattle dog. Uh, when I got her and when she was really a baby she really kind of looked like black lab but I'm actually thinking now can you show everybody look at that face oh yes oh yes but um the ears I'm starting to think shepherd shepherd and cattle dog the black and white definitely looks like cattle dog um, she definitely has cattle dog face and he, actually the older she gets I mean she was pure black but I'm starting to see brown in her her brother at the rescue it was her and her brother and her brother was a beautiful brown brindle and I actually went there to get her brother um, but he was showing some disturbing signs of aggression and he was beating up on her and I mean really really being hard on her and um, so I decided to rescue her not only from the rescue but from her mean brother <laughs> we can relate <laughs> so so this is Sadie and um, I know okay here here and we've been working a lot can you lay down lay down good girl and um so best friends animal society i had been going down the path of getting a um, australian shepherd from a breeder and a viewer had recommended a um, breeder in southern arizona and i was about ready to go on the waiting list i had been in touch with them i'd fill out an application and all kinds of things and for some reason i just never pulled the trigger on the deposit to go on the waiting list and the longer i kind of sat with everything and went to New Zealand and had time to think and clear my mind and get over my grief of losing Huck and you know I mean I still cry about Capone um you know when, once I kind of just I I kind of I got honest with myself and I realized that I don't want a breeder dog. I've never been a purebred breeder dog kind of person. All my dogs have always been rescues as an adult and the and I'm you know I had to get honest with myself. The only reason I went with a breeder with Huck is because I had heard rumors. I never even verified this rumors that um, animal societies and rescues would not adopt to people who live in an RV. That's what I heard. I never bothered to call and ask. I never bothered to try. I think that there's a little bit of shame maybe still I'm feeling around this and feeling like I didn't want to put myself out there for rejection. So I didn't even try. And so I got Huck intentionally going to a, a small, home family breeder um and that's really what i thought they were i thought you know they're not over they're not professional puppy mill breeders i know now they're called a backyard breeder it was bad um but i thought if i go to a small family who's just breeding their family dog they're not going to care as much they're going to not have any questions and it was true all i had to do was pay and i got huck and look where it got me and it got me a sick dog and it got me heartbreak and so i kind of had to realize you know this is the universe telling me carolyn you can't cut corners <laughs> i can't it just seems like every time i try to like skirt the system or cut corners i get screwed and in that case it was um losing a, a 16 week old puppy and breaking my heart and so hi she's just running around <gasps> say hi i know people want to say hi to you they see me all the time 
They want to say hi to look at this Sadie girl. Oh, look at this. So she is um when so I got her, I came back from um I came back from New Zealand and one of my patrons, hi Heather, had done a uh, in memoriam uh, donation to Best Friends Animal Society in Kanab, Utah. She also spent her vacation up there. Beautiful, awesome, wonderful place. She also spent her vacation up there volunteering. And come on, I want you to sit with me. I want, can you sit? Oh, no, no, no. <gasps> and um, I'm gonna put you on a leash. Look at, I have treats. I have treats. Can you sit? Good girl. Good girl. And um, so when I got back, I got the picture of the wind chime in memory of Huck and Capone hanging in their, um, there's a, a name for it, but they have a grove of trees where they hang all these wind chimes. And so I got a picture of that when I got back from New Zealand. Put it away thinking, you know, I need to put it away and figure out, you know, what I'm gonna do with it, get a frame for it or whatever. And then somewhere in the next few days, I started looking at rescue dogs. And I was like, yeah, you know what? I just want to rescue dogs. And I started looking and uh, didn't see anything I liked near where I was. And then it dawned on me. I'm like, oh my gosh, Best Friends Animal Society. And so I uh, looked up Best Friends in Kanab, Utah to see what they had available. And they had Sadie here and her brother. And I fell in love with her brother, uh, beautiful Brindle. Be he looked like cattle dog. He was just beautiful. And uh, made an appointment, drove up there within a day or two. And I have a story. I'm going to actually do a video about that because I had some RV problems. My rig broke down. Um, it was, it was kind of, you know, if, if I believed in science, I would have turned around and came back. But I was like, nope, I'm, I'm getting, I'm going up there. I'm getting a dog. And, uh, so went up there and spent an hour with both dogs and uh, Sadie just, and Sadie's the one who came home with me. <laughs> so um, she's smart. What a good, oh, what a good girl. She's sm extremely smart. She's um, going through her terrible twos right now or teenagehood or whatever, six months old where, um, you know, she was doing really, really well for the first two months and now she's just being stubborn and um, she has a mind of her own and <laughs> so we're dealing with normal puppy stuff but she's done really well she was climbing all over the counters and the table and the stove at first and she's getting better at that um, we worked every day we work together for a couple times a day we do training because I want her to be a really good dog and uh, she's got an excellent temperament she's been around a, a couple other dogs that just don't have a lot of patience for puppies and she goes into total submissive mode so she's extremely gentle she cuddles with me every night she sleeps with me and just cuddles right up next to me and she's playful hi yeah and she's smart hi and um and i decided to name her safety safe safety <laughs> i decided to name her sadie her name was cha-cha when i got her but I named they, her Sadie. All they know is that she came from another rescue. She came to them from another rescue. Um, and the other rescue was near reservation land up in Utah. So they think she was a reservation dog. And they cut her tail. So, which is another, re another thing that makes me think she's got cattle dog in her. But um, the older she gets, I'm not seeing the lab so much anymore. What I'm seeing is German Shepherd. I th so I think she's German Shepherd and cattle dog. She's got the white. <laughs> so she kind of, I'm thinking maybe Border Collie. She's got the white paws. <gasps> and she's got the cute little white paws. And she's just the sweetest She's just the sweetest dog. Um, I almost think that everything I went through with Huck, I had to go through to get me to her because she is just the best. She, I mean, she's a puppy. You know, she's not like perfect. We're still, we have a lot, of, lot to work on Excuse still. Me, Missy. I thought we were beyond this climbing on the table thing. Come here. Come. <laughs> Sadie. Are we supposed to be on the table? She must be having one of those gross spurts things they, I heard about. <laughs> Where they just forget everything and... Yeah. Decide to be difficult. Sadie. But she's she's my dog. <laughs> she's my dog. Huh. Yeah. And she's been to the vet. Clean bill of health. Yes, he's super healthy, so... 
I wanted to wait and introduce her to make sure that we're not gonna have any any more losses. We've all been through enough with the losses of my dogs over the last year and a half. So um, me and Sadie from here on out. And I hope you enjoy um, our adventures as we continue our RV life, living, you know, as we've been living on public lands. Um, I have been sheltering in place for quite a while now. I've been in one spot for too long. I'm really getting, as they say, itchy feet. I really, really want to move, but um, I can't. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put other people at risk. Um, I've also not been feeling well. I did get tested for COVID that came out negative. I've had tested for Epstein-Barr and mono and those came out negative. I'm still waiting on my throat culture. It, um, I had something that looked like strep, even though I don't have my tonsils. And um, so I don't know what's been going on with me, but I have not been feeling well on and off for several weeks now. And I'm still kind of waiting on um, yeah, I, especially too, not wanting to move and, you know, really limiting my, my going into town and stuff like that. So I was going to go to Paris with my, um, my mentee, my little sister in June, her graduation present, but it looks like we're going to have to cancel that. We were supposed to fly out, um, early June and it looks like that's not going to happen. And, uh, so I'm not sure when we're going to reschedule that yet. And so that means my whole plans this year have changed. As soon as I can travel, I'm thinking I'm going to head up to uh, South Dakota, North Dakota, Wyoming, and Montana. So that'll be some fun stuff. I haven't, I've never been to Montana. I haven't been to Wyoming in, so in my RV or South Dakota or North Dakota. So I'm going to go start exploring some new lands. So stay tuned for lots of Sadie <laughs> and Carolyn's RV adventures. She's going to be an amazing dog. Yes. And, uh, I think she's about 30 pounds many of you are probably wondering when i got her she was i don't know how old were you 20 i don't know i don't know but you're growing like crazy um i'm thinking she's probably going to be about about 50 45 50 uh, uh, leave the microphone alone please good girl i'm thinking she's probably going to be about i thought 55 60 pounds but she seems to not be growing as fast as i thought she would so we'll see she's gonna be a good sized dog she's an excellent excellent watchdog uh excellent watchdog a friend of mine came to visit and she went crazy and would not stop trying to get out that window um until i took her out and introduced her to her and any sound outside i'm actually having to train her to be quiet because she's she'll wake me up in the middle of the night just howling at you know coyotes or whatever's out here so uh she's that's one thing um capone never was she never was a good watchdog and uh so that's a good thing. I'm really happy. And as soon as she stops growing, she's going to get fitted with a backpack. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. That's Sadie. And I um, hope you're excited. I am. Um, I hope you're excited. I know I am so happy to have love in my life again and uh, the perfect dog for me. She really is. She is the perfect dog for me. Hi. Want to say goodbye? Oh, oh look at her nub tail. Look at that little nub tail. <laughs> I always wanted, I always, I've never liked this. You know, I always thought it was just terrible that they cut their tails off. And um, I was like, I want a dog with a tail, but I wasn't gonna hold that against her. And now I think it's kind of adorable. So, all right, happy news. What do you think she is? You saw her, what do you think she is? What are your guesses to what breed she is? Again, I think Shepherd Catalog. That's my, that's my, uh, my um, guess as to what she is. And I know I could get a DNA test and maybe I, eventually I will, but it doesn't really matter. She's mine. I love her. I rescued her. I'm so glad I got a rescue. <laughs> and yeah, universe, I'm listening. I can't cut corners. I know. <laughs> all right. I hope you're all doing well. Stay tuned Thursday. We have a live stream with Sadie and me, and I'll answer all your questions for about anything then. Um, in fact, if you have any questions for me for the live stream, put them below in the, in the um, comments below, and I'll be going through and answering questions. And the live stream is Thursday at three o'clock Pacific time, six o'clock Eastern time. I'll be answering all your questions and I'll also be doing some giveaways. T-shirts, coffee, um, T-shirts, coffee, and souvenirs from New Zealand. So I'll see you on Thursday. Thanks for hanging out with Sadie and me. I'll see you next time with Sadie and me, the adventures of, I'm excited to have a girl dog. Just the two girls. There she is. Can you see her? 
Oh, there she is. All right. So see you later. See you. See you. Thursday. Okay. I know this microphone is just too much for you. No, you can't have the fuzzy microphone. No, you can't have the fuzzy microphone. <gasps> Look at that beautiful girl, though. Oh my gosh. Look at that beautiful girl. You can't have my microphone. Uh -uh. Leave it. Good girl. Oh, what a good girl. Here, go get George. Go get George. Go get George. Go get George. It's like, no, this fuzzy microphone is much more interesting. No, leave it. Good girl. I know it's too much, huh? The fuzzy microphone. Sadie girl. Kitty's so beautiful.